Hey y'all, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. Today I am doing a hive inspection and I'm also starting to winterize my hives a little bit. Uh, I'm doing a few things that will help for uh, winterizing them. Not doing anything major yet. Um, I do have new insulated covers for them for winter. I also have um, foam board insulation that I'm gonna put around the sides. I'm not doing any of that today. Uh, I have shims to build so that I can feed my bees, I'm not doing that. Uh, the big thing I'm doing is replacing their entrance reducers. I had taken them off when Golden Round was flowing and they were crammed up at the front, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in. I'm going to put them in this side with this, so it'll be, it'll be this way, um, with this up and that should help uh, so critters don't get in there. Um, I'm also adding, replacing uh, my or I'm sorry, my small, small hive beetle traps. Uh, these, so I had have I have one in each hive right now. Um, but last time I was in here, I did a quick inspection of the hives and like super quick peek in kind of thing. And there were still some small hive beetles, so I'm replacing. I'm gonna put a second trap in. I'm just gonna leave the first one in there for now. Uh, this is gonna go in the bottom, uh, in the bottom uh, deep. So you fill this up with vegetable oil, and then the idea is they go into these little holes the small hive beetles do, the bees can't, and they drown. So I've got another one for each, um, each hive. I think that's all I'm doing today right now. And I'm just going to do an inspection so you guys can, and join, can join me on that as well. So let's go. So today I am actually starting with my most aggressive hive. Normally I, I do this one last, but I wanted to start with it first. Um, just so I get this one out of the way. So I'm just smoking the front so I can replace the entrance reducer. I also need to add, um, slide back in their uh, bottom board that prevents any moisture or anything like that. So like I said, I'm putting those facing up. Alright, got that in. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the hive and take a look and see what is inside. Let's see. My bees definitely don't seem very aggressive today, which is probably just because it's cooling off. Um, today is actually like 80 degrees. Which is weird for October in New York, but. 
normally this time of year and what we've had for the most part has been cooler weather. So here is the other, um, the old beetle trap. I'm just going to try to take a peek in it. Of course the bees blew it in. They blew that in so good. All right, I'm just gonna leave that one. Like I said, I'm putting the other one between these two boxes, so um, I don't really need to get that one out. Last I checked, these were all honey, filled with honey. They've been filled. I'm just gonna double check if that is still the case, but you know, we've had no major issues. Definitely less bees in here than last time I checked, which is normal at this point. Yeah, they're pretty much still finishing up that filling up with that honey. Really good. So I'm also looking for any signs of hive beetles. Haven't seen any yet. Doesn't mean I won't. I haven't been in here in a bit. So these frames are really, really stuck. Just gonna check one more up here and then I will go ahead and try to get to the bottom. Which is not easy, but I'm gonna do my best. And you can see the different colors of honey. Like this is a darker honey, and that's a much lighter honey. It's really cool to see. I think that dark honey is new because I didn't have any of that in my supers. So I've learned to do my best to slide it a bit first because if the frames are stuck together this will break that apart and then I stick it on top of my top. never been a beekeeper and you think I'm exaggerating with how heavy that thing is I promise you I'm not it's well over 100 pounds it's hard to smoke them when it's so windy let's go ahead and take a couple look at a couple of these frames definitely Got some cleaning out to do in here. I think. So I've quite a few dead bees. We we're gonna do that. That's all pollen and some honey. Mm -hmm. This side it's pollen. It's actually still a drone. I'm surprised there's two. Huh. No brood, which is fine, as long as I see brood in here somewhere. I do want to see some signs of brood. Which I think this one has some. There it is. Oh yeah, that's all brood. Obviously brood slows way down at this point. Um, because we're going into winter, there's larva. Um, 
I don't have the greatest lighting right now to tell if there's any eggs, but there's definitely larva, young larva, pupa. Oh yeah, there's some little ones. So queen's definitely around here, still actively laying. And the bees that I see look very healthy. Um, I did do the, my varroa mite treatment, so I am looking for any signs of uh, varroa mites, which oftentimes will be like wing deformities, things like that. And I don't see any of that. And it's really good, just slowing way down with the production, obviously, of the bees. I'll just spot my queen, but if I don't, it's not the worst thing in the world. Definitely see signs of her. And I'm happy with that. There's still some drones. I'm really surprised. They'll be kicked out very soon. So ramp up production of honey. So this is all they're, they're putting new honey in, which is good. Giving themselves lots of stores for winter. They've got a whole box though of, of honey pretty much on the top of it. Oh, sticking to propolis. Not about the girl. I think my queens are on this one though. They're fanning quite a bit on that one. All that propolis. Sticky, sticky glue. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in. I'm gonna put the bee, um, the beetle trap in, and then close up this hive, and I will be done with it for quite a while now. I'm probably only gonna check them one more time before winter um, when I winterize them. I'll put in candy boards. much rather feed them early and then not need it than not feed them and open them up in the middle of winter when it we have a warm day and I can open it and there be no bees that being dead you know because I didn't feed them so all right let's smoke these girls one more time and I'll go down in so that we don't have cushion sliding too, but that's all right. Should still get the job done. I don't even see any small hive beetles, so that's really good. All right, on to the next one.
right, guys, I am all set. My smoker's still going pretty good now. Had to get it re, had to get it going again because it had died. And now it's, of course, going beautifully, which is fine. Um, my bees really weren't too aggressive. That last hive, though, I did have a hard time kind of getting into the frames because there were so many bees on them. So that's when I had to get it going again. Um, having this on is so annoying with glasses. I can't really push them up. But all of, the, all of the hives look great. They all have um, about a full box of honey uh, and some in the, in the first deep, um, but their second deep is completely filled. And none of them I saw small hive, be small hive beetles on. I did put the traps in all of them just in case because I had seen them the last time I was out here. Um, all have brood, you know, young brood. Uh, I actually saw some brand new bees that were nice and fuzzy. Um, they all look really, really good, so I'm really excited. I am going to probably tomorrow, or probably Saturday, actually, tomorrow is going to rain all day. Um, I'm going to come down here and put in those bottom um, little slides that I can't think of the name of them. That uh, because I have screen, bo screen bottom boards, uh, it'll just basically cut off that screen for the winter. And then probably in the next today's October 15th, so probably before Halloween or by Halloween, um, maybe even on Halloween, depending on the weather, um, I will go ahead and get these uh, all finished up for winter. I'm going to go ahead and make sugar patties so that they have that. Um, and yeah, they'll be good to go. And I pretty much after that, we'll leave them alone. I will check on them once during the winter, at least. Um, if we have a warm snap that it's above 50 degrees, I will come and check, um, kind of just pop my head in and make sure that I have bees. Um, that they still have stores, that they have not gone through their whole sugar patty. Uh, if they have, I will feed them. I will feed them quite a bit. Um, so I have to get the shims built, I have to get the top covers on that have the insulation, and I have to, like I said, put the uh, insulation board all around it and bungee cord that on. And I'll probably put something on the top of these just so it weighs it down for the winter because obviously they're not going to have as much protection from these trees as a windbreak when there's no leaves on them. Um, as you can see, it's already becoming really thin back here and uh, the snow will knock everything down. So I may end up even building up a little bit of a windbreak for them because we do get a lot of wind here. But thank you guys very much for joining me today. Please remember, we're growing today for a better tomorrow. Like and subscribe and join me on the next one.